make a clam chowder. So if you guys uh, been itching, I know the cold, the weather has been getting colder to get some clam chowder into your bellies. This is a really easy recipe, and um, I hope that you enjoy it as much as I do. Thanks. So the first thing you want to do is get all your main ingredients. Uh, what I like to start out with is about a half of a packet of bacon and what you're going to do is you're going to put the bacon into your soup kettle, render it down and then chop up an onion, use the bacon fat to saute the onion and the carrots and um, in the meantime what you're going to do is soak your kettle with the clam juice and I usually use the clam juice and add uh, another four cups of water and let that boil the potatoes so let's go ahead and uh, get this party started alright as you can see I already got the bacon going so that's going to take about eh, depends on your stove and how hot your skillet gets but I usually cook it at about a medium and then render it down for uh, for the bacon fat and then over here I've uh, started mincing up my onions. A uh, good way to do this without without crying is to uh, first cut it in planks and then uh, cut it down into quarters so, uh, so you don't end up uh, you know, sobbing like a baby while you're doing this because uh, it's definitely um, not fun. So uh, let's just uh, let's get this going here. All right. So as you can see, we got our um, bacon, onion, carrots, I added a little fresh basil, and uh, that's rendering down right now. You can, I wish everybody at home could smell this. It's, uh, it's something that will definitely be tickling your fancy. And then over here, I got about four cups of clam juice and four cups of water mixed in with some Better Than Bullion. And uh, Better Than Bullion, you can re get that at any local grocery store. And what I did is I added my potatoes in there, so uh, these are getting a bath right now. Um, I'm going to let that boil, soak in. Um, what we're going to do with this when it's all cooked down is that we're going to make a roux out of it. And if you're not sure what a roux is, basically we're going to add some flour and then I'm going to add about a little under a half a cup of uh, heavy whipping cream, um, which I have in the refrigerator. So once we get that going, we'll add this actually to that and um, then add the rest of our cream and that'll give us pretty much our uh, our clam chowder it's uh it's not very difficult to make this it takes basically when you get everything it takes basically about a half hour so um, i hope you guys are enjoying this and uh and uh next hopefully will be the finished product so sit back relax and uh enjoy all right so we're almost there we got our roux uh going and that's about ready to be added into our uh, half clam juice, half uh, chicken stock, and uh, we're letting those potatoes boil down, and then we're gonna we're gonna get this uh, this party going, and uh, hopefully the finished product will be coming up soon. See ya. So this is it. This is our finished product. Um, it's pretty much uh, on the go here. So I mean, basically, I'm just letting it cool down, and then uh, you know, I'm definitely gonna enjoy every every last bite of this scrumptious meal provided to you by Brian Schwartz. So I hope you guys try it out. It's, uh, it's pretty simple. So um, let me know how you, what you think if you do. Alright, this is Brian Schwartz signing off.